Hey busy bees, have you guys tried the latest Trader Joe's craze? This cauliflower gnocchi that's all the rage right now. It just so happens to also be my latest obsession. So today I'm gonna share my way of cooking it perfectly. I'm also gonna compare it to your more traditional gnocchi and I'll also give you a recipe idea on how to use the cauliflower gnocchi. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you guys have tried it or you're super interested in learning more about it. And don't forget to subscribe for more fun food videos. We'll go ahead and get started with cooking off the cauliflower gnocchi. So the first time I tried making this cauliflower gnocchi according to the package's direction, it turned out really gummy and it wasn't very appetizing. I personally like the taste and the gummy texture, but I know a lot of people on the internet did not like it. So I have been testing pretty much every day since I found out about this product just to perfect it. And I think I found the perfect way. All right, first I'm going to Cut the bag open. And I'm just gonna be making half of the package today. Let's turn the burner to medium high heat. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then our gnocchi. I've added it frozen directly into the pan and now I'm just gonna let it pan fry for a little bit as it thaws. So you guys might be wondering, what is a gnocchi or a cauliflower gnocchi? Basically, this is like a cauliflower dumpling. Traditionally, gnocchis are made with potato and flour, but this one, they made with cauliflower, cassava flour, potato starch, extra virgin olive oil, and sea salt. So I guess you can say it's gluten-free, and um, is it gluten-free? Cassava is considered um, like a root, so yeah, I think it's gluten-free. Correct me if I am wrong, you guys, but the texture is a lot lighter. I almost wanna say it's gummy, but not in a bad way. It's chewy in like the most perfect, pillowy way, and I just love eating it. So this is starting to pan fry. I can see the cauliflower starting to thaw. Now, one of the reasons why I think the package's direction didn't work for a lot of people because what I found is that once I start cooking the cauliflower, it started extracting its own water from the gnocchi. So cauliflower is very, very uh, water-filled, and when you cook it up, it tends to extract its uh, moisture. So I think that's why it didn't work. So I significantly reduced down the amount of water that I'm using just to one tablespoon, and I'm not gonna add it until this is almost done. Flip it over if you need to. But you can see the cauliflower is starting to cook a little bit, and it's starting to kind of pan fry. Also, don't worry too much if the gnocchis are stuck together because they'll come apart once we add the water. Let's give this guy a few more minutes. So the cauliflower gnocchi has been pan frying for about three minutes now on each side and the middle part is still quite frozen. So to help it cook along faster, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of water. I'll give it a mix. Mix, mix, mix. All right, the cauliflower gnocchi has absorbed all of the liquid and you see it kind of expanded a little bit but it's not sticking together. This looks perfect and it's pretty much ready to serve. I like to just add my favorite marinara. Here I have a quarter cup, just your basic marinara. Mix it up. This looks like Korean dakbokki but to add some freshness, uh, some fresh basil which is a must in tomato basil marinara sauce. Simple yet flavorful and delicious. And that's it. So good. The taste of the cauliflower really shines through and if you love cauliflower, I definitely recommend you trying this because mm, 
It's just yet another unique way of incorporating veggies or cauliflower into your meal. And then the simple tomato basil marinara sauce just kind of rounds it out, gives it so much flavor. I kid you not, when I first discovered this bag right here, we were going shopping for Cinco de Mayo and I was like, I'm gonna give this a try. The first time I went to look for it the week before, it was completely sold out. So I was really excited to find it there. Once I tried it, it was so good. I had to go back and stock up because I was afraid of it selling out again. And I literally have like five bags in the freezer right now. So if there's a shortage of cauliflower gnocchi at Trader Joe's, you know where to find them. Now that this is done, I'm gonna set it aside and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the regular potato gnocchi. This was also bought at Trader Joe's. Um, it's made of mashed potatoes, wheat flour, potato starch, rice flour, salt, and other things. So let's go ahead and cook this up and I'm also gonna cook it with the marinara sauce and show you the difference. So to cook our potato gnocchi, I have a pot of boiling water. We're not pan frying anything here. And since it's boiling, we're gonna add these kids in the pool. These guys are fast cooking. They only cook for three minutes. Drop a few in. So you'll know these are done cooking once they float to the top, which they are right now. So I'll remove the pan from heat and drain them. Now I've put it back on heat and I'm gonna add our marinara sauce and basil. Give it a mix. And that's it. This one came together even faster than the cauliflower gnocchi, but let's taste if it's just as good. Mm. Not gonna lie, this one is just as good. There's a reason why gnocchi is so popular. Something so comforting and delicious, yet so simple. Like I said, we're gonna do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Here is the cauliflower gnocchi. Now the potato gnocchi. The potato gnocchi is much more dense and I really do taste that kind of flowery texture. Um, I would have to say that the taste and denseness of it kind of turns me off. It's good if I've never had this cauliflower gnocchi before, but now that I've had this cauliflower gnocchi, the texture is light, not airy, but it's also chewy and you get that more vegetable flavor, the cauliflower flavor in each bite, which I personally enjoy. Uh, I think also because I pan fried this, it brought a lot of the flavors out. It just has a better taste to it. This is how I feel about this cauliflower gnocchi. Now, I'm not sure that you can do the same cooking technique with the potato gnocchi. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I'll test that and I'll let you guys know how that goes. But just in terms of preference, I definitely like the cauliflower gnocchi more. I also like it more because there's less stuff in there. When I looked at the ingredients list, there was a lot of preservatives, and I think that could contribute to why it doesn't taste as good. I'm sure if you had like a fresh potato gnocchi, it would be so different and so wonderful. But this was a strict product comparison from Trader Joe's um, in terms of what you can get for gnocchi. So I think the winner here is our cauliflower gnocchi. Yay! All right guys, now I told you I would give you one more idea on how to enjoy the cauliflower gnocchi. So up next is our portobello mushroom and arugula with a mascarpone cheese sauce gnocchi. So we're gonna cook the cauliflower gnocchi the same way I showed you guys earlier, but except this time, I'm gonna be cooking it with some portobello mushrooms and garlic. First, I'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. Then I'll add about half a cup of portobello mushrooms one clove of minced garlic, and the other half of our cauliflower gnocchi. Let it cook down on each side for about three minutes. 
the mushrooms and the garlic as they cook together with the gnocchi. It's gonna infuse so much flavor and it also smells incredible. This looks great, so now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of water and about a quarter cup of our mascarpone cheese. I'll let the mascarpone cheese melt and then I'll add a pinch of salt, some fresh basil, and about a half a cup of fresh arugula. Let me get a mushroom, or two. The mascarpone cheese created this creamy, cheesy sauce that's delicate, a little salty, mixed with the arugula that has kind of like a bite to it, and the meaty mushrooms. Mmm, my favorite meal, my new favorite meal right here. I'm gonna be eating this for another month. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this cauliflower gnocchi demo and versus theme. Comment below and let me know if you guys wanna see more of these types of videos where I kinda do a versus, like a new way versus a traditional way of food. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.